welcome to the Would You Rather Beauty Edition tag. Um, I honestly just thought it looked fun, and these are actually questions I can answer. A lot of the beauty tags are things that I don't wear enough makeup to be able to justify doing them. So this one, I was like, actually, you know, I, I could do this one. So I have my computer here on my lap. That's why I keep looking now, because I'm like balancing it right here. It's just below camera level. See? Ta-da! But, um, yeah. So I've got it right here. So, without further ado, I will copy the questions down into the description box for if you guys feel like doing this. Nor the straw right here. I just noticed that it's in the frame. But anyway, um, if you guys feel like doing it, cool. If not, no pressure. Um, but if you do do it, leave me a comment. Let me know that you did. And I'll come check out your video where you did it. So, anyway. Let's get started. Question number one. Would you rather lose all your mascaras, eyeliners, lipsticks, and lip glosses, or lose all of your palettes and eyeshadows? I'm gonna go with the latter there because I own virtually no eyeshadows because I generally don't wear it. I might change that in the future since I, I as you can see, I have a little bit on right now and it actually doesn't look horrible, but in my early 20s, late teens, I tried to wear it and really didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Well, to be fair, I really don't know what I'm doing now either, but, um, to the point where it got embarrassing because I was trying everything under the sun and just failing miserably at it in the days pre-YouTube, pre, like, makeup tutorials, so I really didn't know. Not that I'd looked at any tutorials for what I'm doing now, but I, I went a lot more low-key than I used to, okay? I used to, like, go all the way up to the eyebrow line. It was bad. It was real bad. So, anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that because generally the very minimal amount of makeup that I do wear typically falls into mascaras, eyeliners, lipsticks, and lip glosses. That's generally the only makeup I wear. I've never worn foundation in my life, believe it or not. I haven't worn blush since I was about 15, since I end up looking like I'm having an allergic reaction when I do, um, and beyond that, I mean, like I said, I really usually don't bother with eyeshadows, but I might start if I can buy some eyeshadows that don't suck, that are also affordable. You know, I don't know, but anyway, um, moving on. Number two, would you rather chop off all your hair or never be able to cut it again? That's an easy one, just, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna go would rather chop off all my hair because every year or two I do exactly that. Anytime I do grow it out long, I eventually get pissed off with the upkeep and I'm like, fuck this, chop it all off, and it goes from like down to butt length up to here. So yeah, that one. I could not ever deal with never being able to cut it again. Fuck that. I could chop it off. I could shave it all off. I wouldn't fucking care. I've been bald. I don't care. That does not bother me but never be able to grow it again, that would piss me off like nothing else. Like, even at this length, it's starting to piss me off, but I'm trying really hard to grow it out because you can see it's starting to get curlier and I am not digging this and I am getting very angry with trying to fight with it all the time, but I'm hoping maybe if I let it get a little longer, it'll weigh it down and straighten it out a little because I like curls just fine on other people. Hate them on me, but that's my own personal thing, so anyway. Number three, would you rather have a coral cheek or a pink cheek? I honestly don't know, because I really don't bother with blush. Like I said, whenever I wore it, I ended up looking like I was having an allergy attack, since generally, when I have food allergies, first thing that happens is my face turns bright red across here. So, but generally, that was with the pinker ones. As you can tell, I have a lot of natural pink in my face. Because I'm not, I've never worn foundation, so this is the color of my face. Um, so I'm, I guess I would say coral maybe would look slightly more normal and less allergy-ish. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to go with that, even though I really don't know. I don't think I've ever... No, I guess I have worn coral. It was a very light coral, though. It was closer to a tan, actually, but... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with coral on this. Um, number four, if you had a thousand dollars to spend, would you rather buy clothes or makeup? Mmm. Trick question. Because my G <laughs> my knee jerk reaction says clothes, but let's be honest, look at how many thousands of thousands of dollars I spend a year 
just on lip balms. That's not counting any other beauty stuff, just lip balms. Now let's think about how many clothes I buy a year. Not that many. Maybe a couple hundred dollars worth at best, if even. So, as much as I'd like to say if I had a thousand bucks in my hand on one given day, I would totally go on a shopping spree for clothes, um, if it's just all added up, probably gonna say makeup, because realistically that's how that shit goes. The saying. Anyway, um, number five, would you rather apply lipstick as eyeliner or eyeliner as lipstick? <laughs> this one made me laugh because I have a story. You know those like three in one uh, stick things where it's like lip color, blusher, eyeshadow? Had one of those ones. Looked horrible, but had one of those ones. That was one of the first grown up makeups I ever had that wasn't like kitty makeup, so. I kind of assumed from there that, you know, if that can be used interchangeably for all these things, that, you know, most makeup could probably be used interchangeably if you do it right. I definitely try to use eyeliner on my lips like a lip crayon. Tasted horrible. Had to wash that shit off. It was bad. Then there was a different day where I did put down a matte lipstick first and tried to draw small designs with a white eyeliner on my lips. That was almost as horrible. That said, I don't think I would um, take lipstick to my eyes though. Just, mm -mm, not risking that. My eyes are way too sensitive as is. That's part of why I don't wear more eye makeup than I do, because my eyes are so ridiculously sensitive, it's hard for me to keep it on without them eventually getting irritated by it and watering right off, so. Yeah, I would not be putting lipstick near my eyes, so. But that answers your question. Anyway, uh, number six, would you rather only shop at MAC or Sephora? Unpopular opinion time, I've never shopped at Sephora, not because of anything against them, it's just never happened. And I only own one MAC product, but that is one product more than I have from Sephora, so I guess I'll say MAC. Plus, if I had the money to spend, I probably would go to MAC because aesthetically I love the look of their stuff. I like that their stuff is so pigmented, and like I said, if I had the money to throw at it, I honestly probably would. Sephora, though, I mean, my sister shops there all the time, and she does get good stuff from there. I just have personally shopped there. I don't really know why. Like, I can use the excuse that I don't really go to the mall, but I mean, Mac is also in the mall. I could buy from either of them online, and I don't, because I don't feel like throwing that much money, money at makeup that I don't really know how to apply properly, you know? So it's like, I, I buy fucking drugstore makeup, and that's a splurge for me, so. Yeah, but. If I had to pick one or the two at gunpoint, I'd say MAC, just because I actually do own a MAC product. Number seven. Would you rather only use one eyeshadow color or one lip color for the rest of your life? Eyeshadow color. Um, just because I don't know that there'd ever be one lip color I could lock into and commit to. Eyeshadow colors, I've generally only gone back and forth between two or three, and of those, the one that I have on is the one that I usually go back to. So, you know, if I had to, I, I could probably stick with purple and be just fine. But, I mean, I'd rather not lock into anything. I have commitment issues, okay? So, alrighty. Um, number eight. Would you rather wear winter clothes in summer or summer clothes in winter? I live in California. I do both. But, um, as you guys who dedicatedly watched my channel for a long time know, I would say I more frequently wear winter clothes in summer than the other way around because I am perpetually cold. It, unless we have very unseasonably warm weather in the middle of winter, uh, that shit ain't happening. But, unless it's like 86 or warmer out, you're gonna find me still wearing sweaters. Even though everyone else around me has, like, tank tops and shorts on, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm still shivering like a chihuahua, so, um, leave me alone, I'm, I'm sticking with my sweaters and being cozy, because 
I'm a freak. Anyway. Number nine, would you rather have dark nails or bright nails all year round? Mmm, I think bright. Do these count as bright or as dark? I'm on the fence. If this counts as bright, I'll say bright. If this counts as dark, I'll go with dark. But it's like, I could totally rock a red nail all year round and be happy with that. But... Yeah, I'm not sure if this is just bordering on dark or if this counts as bright. My, I feel like this is bright, but I mean, again, I don't know that much about makeup, so I could be wrong. But yeah, so I'm gonna say bright. Number 10, would you rather give up your favorite lip product or your favorite eye product? Eye product! Because <laughs> I could live without those. I could not live without my lip balms. And it says lip product, not lipstick. So that would include lip balm. And you know I will not give those up, so eye product. Number 11, would you rather only be able to wear your hair in a ponytail or a messy bun? How about neither? <laughs> um, uh, on the rare occasions that I drew, do grow my hair out, I pretty much don't do anything with it. Um, I get headaches when I put my hair in ponytails. I don't even know how to put my hair in a bun. So, I guess by default, if I had to pick one of these two options... I would say ponytail, but in all seriousness, I don't really wear either one, but there are occasions where I have been known to pull my hair back briefly anyway into a ponytail for a little while, but I don't think I've ever worn a bun. Now, I take that back. I was a ballerina for Halloween one year, and I did have my hair in a bun for that, but I'm not the one who did it. I think that is possibly the only time in my entire life I've had my hair in a bun. Just saying. I've done that thing where I kind of fake one by, like, pulling my hair into a ponytail, but not pulling it quite all the way through, so it kind of makes a loop that's almost like a bun, but, like I said, I don't really know how the fuck you make one. I don't really care, because, like I said, it hurts my head and gives me migraines when I pull my hair back, even loosely. So I just don't, and that's fine for me. You guys want to wear them? Knock yourselves out. But for me personally, it just causes me pain, and I don't like pain, so I don't wear them. Anyway, number 12. Would you rather never be able to paint your nails again, or never use lip gloss? Really? Really? Did we not just already answer this? I've already basically, for a good number of years, lived without nail polish. I've only very recently started wearing it again, and finding that there are a couple of brands that are unfumy enough to where I can generally handle them, but there's like at least a good five years in there where I pretty much did not wear it at all, which broke my heart because I love nail polish, but if it were never wear that again, or never wear lip gloss again, sorry nail polish, you gotta go. But uh, yeah, I can't live without the lip gloss, so. Number 13, would you rather shave your eyebrows and have none at all, or sharpie them in every day? I'm going to take a page from the Liza Minnelli playbook here and say the Sharpie eyebrows. Even though they look like absolute shit, I would rather have those than no eyebrows because you look like a freak of nature, like an alien if you have none. But even if they look ridiculously drawn on, at least you have technically some eyebrows. I'd really rather have neither one of those happen at all. But, again, if it had to be one of those two... I'd go with the Sharpie eyebrows. And then the last one, number 14. Would you rather live without makeup or nail polish? Newsflash, nail polish is makeup. But, um, hmm, I guess if they mean makeup, like on your face versus nail polish. Hmm. Does lip balm count in their makeup? If it does, then I'm going to say live without nail polish. But if it doesn't, and I've found a loophole where I can still have that and the nail polish and just not ever have any other kind of makeup again, I could live with that. I would have no problem with So anyway, that is all 14 questions. Again, I will put them down in the description box so you guys can do this too if you choose to. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I enjoyed doing it. So anyway... If you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, leave comments down below. And until next time, bye!